And we're joined by MLA Norm Letnick. In this case, you are Norm Letnick from the Yee Yee Society. Did I say that right? Yeah, pretty close. Yay yay. Yay yay. Yay yay. You're going to turn this uh, duplex, is it right now? It's a fourplex. Fourplex into some affordable housing with a uh, system that is refreshingly new and different. Explain how it's going to work. So we did this in Banff, about 200 homes over five years. And the way it works is we sell the units at our cost as a nonprofit developer to home buyers. In this case, we have 20, uh, 20 units, so we'll sell them at, at cost. Now, cost will be about approximately 75% of the market value of the units, right? Because included when you buy a home usually is the land value and the developer's profit. We're not charging these buyers that. So they're not paying for the land, and they're not paying any developer's profit because we're a nonprofit. So it would be about three quarters of what they might normally. Approximately, that's what we're shooting for. That's the average we did in Banff was turns out to about 75% of market value. So that's what they're they're going to pay. They're going to pay 100% of the cost, not including land and developer's profit, which turns out to be about 75% of the market. When these first-time buyers, because they'll be all first-time buyers, we're going to give them a hand up. When they then later on sell their homes, they get sold on the open market at full market value, and that's when we pay the landowner their share. So we're delaying the money going to the landowner. They're getting a tax benefit from it, from that. Also, they, they benefit from the appreciation of the value of the land if the land goes up in value. Um, and they do a great thing for our community right. by well, helping people correctly get in. then, on that second sale, that about a quarter of what comes in goes to the society to... Yeah, so, so if, the, uh, if the, the range is 75%, if the equity share is 75%, then about 25% on the second sale to the open market will go to the society, which they'll use to pay the landowner their, their share. And the, the balance will stay with the society and they'll use it for other purposes for affordable housing. Meanwhile, you get how many people into housing that might have otherwise found it too expensive? Well, our hope is that this is just a prototype for Kelowna. So yes, we'll start with 20 here, but this can be replicated anywhere. And uh, and again, we hope that other partners, land partners will come forward and say, yeah, I have a piece of land that you can develop. I don't need the money right away. I would like the money, of course, but I can wait a little while to get that money. And uh, there's a tax benefit for me to do that. So that's great. Um, and, uh, and of course, the development community can grab onto this model themselves and provide that as a way of showing to city council that their project actually is in the benefit of, of a whole city by providing first-time buyers, entry-level buyers, families, young families with an opportunity to actually buy their own homes in Kelowna. Right. So two goals here. One, to have this come together smoothly for the benefit of uh, these 20 families that move in, but also have it come together in such a way that others can say, hey, Let's duplicate that. Exactly. You know, there's no real point other than for the 20 families that will make a big difference in their lives to just do a one-off, right? We're doing a lot of work here creating this model, not just for this particular project, but so it can be replicated over and over and over again uh, throughout Kelowna, the Okanagan, BC, wherever. You mentioned Banff. Uh, is, is there proof there that it works? Yep. We uh, had a Banff, uh, we still do, a Banff Housing Corporation, uh, similar to the Whistler one. Uh, and we did 200 homes in the course of five years in the middle, uh, in the 90s, late 90s. And uh, as I understand it, most of the occupants of those homes uh, still live there in their first time buyers. And lots of interest. I, I, I saw that you had extended an invitation for people who might want to buy into this and you had a uh, good response. Yeah, initially we had over 120 families interested in, in, uh, in looking at this as a home for them. Um, and uh, when we get approvals from city council, if we get that uh, approval, then I'm sure there'll be a lot more people that want more information. So a few more things you've got to uh, put together, but you expect to maybe get building next, next year. year. Next year. Yep. All right. Let's, let's hope to see it happen. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling us about it. Pleasure. Thanks for asking. And, and thank you for watching Kelowna Now.